Hey viewers, today we will be installing Windows XP in VMware, short for Virtual Manager, Oracle Virtual Manager. And not only that, I'll show you how to install Mozilla Firefox and install all of the, all of the drivers. So let's get into it. So first, go into VirtualBox. Now put in the link down in the description below if you want to download VirtualBox. And also, I got a new pocket knife. It it's it's from Swiss Army. I'll put it down in the link description below if you want to buy one of these. I will be doing a review in uh, of of this like maybe this Sunday. Oh. All right. So click on new. So now we have our Windows XP here. Now go to settings and then maybe go to storage and then you can see that there is no ISO file. So click on this, click on the CD right here, choose a disk file and then, and then here's the Windows XP ISO. I'll put it in a link down in the description below if you wanna download it. The approximate size will be 560 megabytes to 590 megabytes. So it's not that big. And then go to settings maybe again, go to system, get the floppy, get the optical drive up, press okay. And then you feel free to press start. It might take a while to start, and when you start, it might ask you what ISO file that um, we should use. So um, I'll be using my Windows XP ISO. And there we go. If you wanna put this in a full screen, then just go to view, put in full screen mode. You know what, let me, yeah. Yeah, that sounds better, right? So as you can see here, the setup is loading files, like the USB files, the network files or whatever. So setup is starting Windows. It might take a while. All right, so once this has loaded, Press enter because it says to set up Windows XP now, press enter, so press enter. And then it'll give you the licensing agreement. So press F8 to agree. And then it'll, and then it will ask you what kind of disc do you wanna use? So I only have one disc, so press enter. And then format the partition using the NTFS file system, you can, uh, do that because it'll be more efficient. So the setup is formatting the disk file, uh, I mean the disk, so it might take some time. It's already almost at 50%. And then it might check your drive and then it might copy some files. tell you what this is done please wait while the setup initializes okay so now your computer will reboot i mean the virtual box will reboot so just press enter if you don't want to wait so don't press anything because like i said yeah uh, maybe on my last video and there we go microsoft windows xp will be booting up So I'll be decompressing some files. Windows XP setup. All right, so, all right, so when it loads, so it'll give you the license agreement again. Uh, yeah. 
So you can say, I accept this agreement. Press next. Please wait while setup detects and installs devices such as your your keyboard and mouse. This will take several minutes. During this time, your screen may flicker for, for a few seconds. So please wait while it installs the start menu items, it registers the components, it saves the settings, and removes any temporary files used. Alright, so now it will restart when everything is done. those XP sound. Alright, so it will go to this screen. I don't know. You can just minimize that and it might be loading some files enabling option password never expires so in so just maybe like give it some time maybe you can i think you don't have to do this so you can just quit this if you want And there we go. This is the system is shutting down. Please save while we're going. And maybe shut this me down. Yeah. So maybe when you just shut it down, maybe you can start it back up again. So don't press anything if you want to save all your progress or otherwise you'll have to restart everything. All right, so maybe when you restart, this might come up. So yeah, everything seems to be good here. So you can just press okay, okay. And now maybe it might give you your wallpaper set up so maybe you can get your appearance uh, screensaver desktop uh, maybe you can do bliss and there we go you can apply and this green scenic view walk so I will put the link in the description below. I have these files which you can uh, which you can download. So there might be a file called old Firefox and uh, XP drivers. So you wanna share all these files to Windows XP so that you can maybe set it up. So step one, shut this thing down. Step two, go into virtual box, go to settings, go to shared folders, and then see this, you can add a folder. So you can check auto mount, and then press this arrow, press other, and uh, you can go where to wherever your documents are old firefox select folder okay and then maybe you can add another folder check auto mount and do the same thing uh and then xp drivers and then okay press okay and then you can start the system again Alright, so now I'm going to show you how to make this like full screen. Like if you don't like this square, then what do you do to make it full screen? So go to your bottom. 
like right here and then click on input all right not input i mean click on devices click on devices and then click on insert guest edition cd image so once you have inserted that it might automatically mount so you can press next next and then it will install all right so once the installation is complete it will ask you to reboot now or no i want to reboot manually like later so i'm just gonna boot now like reboot now so click on finish and it will reboot all right so once you reboot then oh my god this is this so big so you will get a full screen isn't that amazing it will feel like that you're actually in the operating system so now we're going to install mozilla firefox and maybe even install google chrome and zoom or and uh, whatever stuff you need so go to my computer And then, as you can see here, I have these um, uh, drivers. So you can click on XP drivers first. Oh, sorry, this is kind of wobbly. And then um, click on Pro X um, Pro Two X. Uh, I don't know what does it say. So just double click on that and it might ask you to do you want to run this file run and it might install it will be installing all by itself all right so so when you get to the screen press next it will ask you to accept the terms and conditions so accept it press next and then press next and then you can press install all right so when the installation is complete you can click on finish and then uh we'll install the old firefox right now so click on back and then go to the old firefox and then click on the old firefox setup you can run it'll be extracting some files i'll put the link down in the description below to install all the network files the xp drivers and the old mozilla firefox so click next next install finish Import options, okay, don't import anything. Now you can actually install Google. So just press, so just search in Google Chrome. So then you can download the Google Chrome browser. And then download Chrome, get Chrome for Windows, accept and install, save file, and then double click on it. All right, okay. And then run, and there you go. All right, just cool. All right, so we'll be connecting to the internet. It's downloading Chrome. Okay, since Chrome is not supported in Windows XP, it will not install any updates since it's not installed in Windows XP, Windows and Vista, and all those other operating systems. It is still in support in Windows 7, 8, 8.1, and Windows 10. There you go. I mean, 
Wow. I can't believe it. You can actually install Google here. And that, my friends, is how you install Windows XP. So, like I said, ne in next video, I uh, will be reviewing about the Swiss Army pocket knife. Please subscribe to this channel, leave a big fat like to this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.